What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, welcome, welcome. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you could, could ring the little bell and find my soul tribe. I super duper appreciate you saying, saying, saying. Say that, say that five times fast, just saying. Um, it's a collective reading for June 2021. I got a message in um, <clears throat> as I was sitting here meditating on energy, and so I decided to do it. Um, the message is someone's um, black magic spells are not going to work. You are protected. That's what I heard. Someone's black magic spells are not going to work. You are protected. So um, you take it how it resonates. Um, so someone's been performing black magic spells, apparently, on at least one of you guys or somebody you're connected to. And I heard they're not going to work. You're protected. So I think you're spiritually protected. Um... For some, you could be universally protected as well, universally and spiritually protected, but I definitely think you're spiritually protected for sure, for sure, for sure, um, from the black magic. So, um, that's freaking a wonderful, just saying. Spirit messages, you have to replace it. Okay. Spirit messages, you have to replace it. I hope everybody's doing okay today, for real, for real. I do, I do, I do, who I'm just saying. Spells to try to make you weak. Okay, I heard spells to try to make you weak. So you take it out, resonate. Spells to try to make you weak. Spirit messages you have to reflect it. Take away your energy. Someone has lots of desire and drive and motivation for the future. They are trying to disrupt this. Okay, so you take it out, resonates. So, there's some kind of spells to make you weak. If this resonates with you or somebody you're connected to. I heard um, you have lots of desire and drive and motivation for the future. But um, whoever is performing this, um, these black magic spells on you, um, they want to basically... Um, they want to take away your self-confidence. They want to take away your self-confidence. They don't want they want you to think there's something wrong with you. Like physically, probably. Now, if there really is something physically wrong with you, I, I would hope you guys would, you know, seek medical professional um help. But if you know, if it's just a little um fatigue or something of that nature, hopefully you can pick up on it and uh sage stick your home. Um, they have different sages, um, blue, white. Palo Santo. There's other ones too, but I can't think of the other ones right now. But um, you can Google Sage Sticks on Google if um, you are interested in that. Um, that clears away the negative energy and leaves in the positive energy. Um, and they're very, very, very useful. Very useful. Um, I'm going to actually, I need to order some. So, because uh, I'd like to start, I used to um, sage all my readings and my cards before um the readings and um i have ran out so i need to order some more but um so for who this resonates with it, apparently it is black magic spells regarding they're trying to the goal is to try to make you think <clears throat> there's something that you're ill probably that you're ill and trying to take away your self-confidence um by making you weak and um taking away your basically your product productivity because who this resonates with you have fire sign energy I'm not saying you're a fire sign. You can be any sign. But desire, drive, and motivation is fire sign energy. So they are um, taking away your fire or trying. They're trying to take away your fire sign energy. And um, either trying to make you mentally think in your head, oh, my God, I'm sick, you know, uh, worry, worry, worrying about it. Um, or physically trying to just diminish your productivity to where you can't. Um, Produce out in the world and show your show your light, shine your light, and really um, help others in the collective, um, which is freaking sad. But um, I will tell you guys, for anybody who doesn't know, black magic always backfires. It always, always, always backfires, and that's just the truth for real, for real. It does. Now, sometimes it can backfire a little because some people are very, very, very skilled in it, very skilled, very freaking skilled. So, um, sometimes, you know, depending on who's performing it, um, on you, um, sometimes it backfires a minimal amount. Sometimes 
really hugely. Um, but it always does backfire in some some shape, form, or fashion. So eventually they will get their karma, um, just to let you know. But it's it's the sad. But they're seeing you. They're doing it because they're threatened by you. That's exactly why they're doing it. They're threatened by you, and um, not and they're they're narcissists. They're narcissistic. Whoever this is, because <clears throat> you should never feel threatened by anybody. You should feel lift uplifted and motivated and uh, inspired by people, not threatened and um, you know um, not feeling threatened by people. Um, just saying. So, um, but I heard you're you're protected. You so you are spiritually protected. You might be universally and spiritually protected, but you definitely are spiritually protected. So spirit has your back. Um, I feel like somebody might need to hear that. And these are the cards we got out. Very spiritually protected. Someone definitely needs to hear this. Okay. I heard definitely spiritually protected. Someone needs to hear this. So you're, that's double confirmation. Deuces. You're definitely spiritually protected. Someone needs to hear this. So it's you or somebody you're connected to. Um, just saying. Number 9, 12, 5, or 1 might be significant to someone. 9, 12, 5, or 1. Spiritual strength. Someone's spiritual strength is off the chain. You've really done a wonderful job. In the 3D and within yourself, you need to hear this. Holy shit, that's wonderful. Holy crap. Who of this resonates with? I heard someone's spiritual strength is off the chain. I heard off the chain from spirit. Spirit's got a sense of humor, just saying. Uh, spiritual strength is off the chain. So it's off the freaking chain. So it's bomb.com, just saying. That's freaking A, wonderful. Um, I heard not only in the 3D, you are exhibiting the spiritual strength. <clears throat> so the 3D is the world we live in, the collective world we live in. So wherever you go in the world, you are exhibiting your spiritual strength um, and inside yourself. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just ate. So, um, so yeah, so you're exhibiting inside yourself and you're exhibiting to others in the world um, your spiritual strength. Now, you, you can be spiritual and not be religious or you can be religious and be spiritual. I just want to throw that out there. <clears throat> This is not about um, religion or spirituality or any, it, this is about spirituality, period, about spirituality. Like I said, you can be religious and be spiritual or be spiritual and not be religious. I just want to clarify that, but this is about spiritual strength, no matter whatever you are in that realm, okay? So, but however that resonates for you, you have to plug in your life how it resonates. You, you're showing it. You're showing your spiritual strength. Um, it is apparently is very evident, very evident. And I heard basically spirit message, good freaking job. So you go with your badass self. Just saying, that's wonderful. Um, sacrifice, and this one came out reversed. Now, um, so there has been times I haven't taken the psychic throw in reverse, but I did hear reverse earlier. I didn't tell you guys that, but I did. So I, when this came out, I left it reversed exactly the way it came out. Sacrifice reversed. Others are really trying to think of ways to bring you down because they have succeeded in the past for a little while. But it is definitely not going to work this time. Someone needs to hear this. Really? Really? Cooking up ideas in the background. Okay, so you take it out, resonate. So um, someone is um, basically concocting nasty ass plans in the dark to try to um, really concocting in the background is what I heard. <clears throat> but they're really behind the scenes trying to figure out basically how to pull you down. I heard for who this resonates with, they have succeeded in the past for a little while. So they succeeded for a little while, 
but it sounds like right now they're not. They're not because you were shining like bright like a diamond, baby. You are shining like a diamond, freaking diamond. Um, and so they succeeded for a little while in the past. So they think they can do it again. But I heard this time, most certainly not. They had a very unfair advantage in the past. Very unfair. The unfair advantage, advantage has been taken away. Okay. I heard they had a very unfair advantage in the past, but they do not have an unfair advantage anymore. The unfair advantage has been taken away. So you take it out resonates. So they had an unfair advantage in the past in some type of way um, against you. And that's how they were able to, um, who this resonates with, somebody's very threatened by you. They're very freaking threatened by you. They are. But see, people shouldn't be threatened by people. They shouldn't be threatened. Um, we are all sitting here as a collective to lift people up, to lift people up, to uplift them, to um, love them universally. I'm not talking about, I mean, if it's your twin flame, yeah, but I'm just saying in general and collective to love one another, to love one another um, and to put good out to people. Um, and that's just the truth. It's the truth. Um, so, but whoever this resonates with, they're very threatened. They're very threatened by you. That's why they're doing it. But I heard they had a very unfair advantage in the past. So you're very powerful within yourself. You're very powerful. And these people know it. They know that, that you are. And that's why um, that they gained the unfair advantage to begin with. And however they gained it, I'm not sure I didn't hear that part. That really could resonate a million different ways for a million different people. But however they gained it, they don't have any more. So they were threatened by you. And that's why they um, gained the unfair advantage anyways to basically uh, pull your eyes down and um, make you look less than so it can make them look better than, if that makes sense. But they don't have it no more. So I heard somebody really needs to hear this. So we have um, sacrifice for first. So you had to sacrifice yourself in some type of way in the past because of the unfair advantage is how I'm taking this. Um, you know, however, you had to sacrifice yourself, uh, but you did, it sounds like, in some type of way. But now you don't have to. You don't have to anymore because the unfair advantage is gone. I think spirit had a huge part in helping take um, help make series of chain events occur to help that for you. If this resonates for you. To, to be able to give you a fair advantage in the world, to be able to let you shine your light in a very fair, just, equal way, the way it should be for everybody, everybody. That's beautiful. Financial and material changes. And I just want to show y'all real quick. Um, this is, I mean, these would look great. We have financial and material changes and trials of success. It came out spiritual strength, sacrifice reverse, financial and material changes, triumphic success. I mean, just for real, for real, that are the cards that came out in that order. Somebody is about to really, really um, hit it big financially. You're about to hit it big financially, but, but you're not only about to hit it big financially, you really have done a lot of inner work. You've done a lot of inner work inside yourself. Um, and you've earned it. You have freaking earned it. Whoever this resonates with, you've earned it. And, um, you have worked on yourself and I think you put, you put really good into the universe and you're about to get rewarded back financially. That's my, my, what I'm thinking in here. Financial and material changes. A huge surge soon, positively. Okay, I heard a huge surge soon, positively. So you take it out, resonates. So a huge surge soon, positively. So I think a huge surge of financial gain coming in soon, positively. Um, that's exactly what I think. Um, that's exactly what I freaking think. I think a huge surge of money coming in soon, positively. Um, if this resonates with you, that's freaking beautiful. My freaking God, this is looking great. Um, but like, like I'll re I'm going to reiterate, you deserve it. Whoever this resonates with, you freaking deserve it. You have truly done inner work. Now, I'm not saying that you um, 
might need to, you know, everyone has work they need to do on themselves. So, you know, um, you probably, you know, everybody learns and grows and still has learning and growing to do. So I'm not saying, you know, I hope, you know, your ego is not the size of Texas. And I don't think whoever I'm speaking to is um, by any stretch um, saying this. I'm just saying there's always room to learn, learn and grow. So, yes, you've come a long way, but there's still more room to learn and grow because there's always learning and growing that occurs in the universe. Um, but you've come a long way, I'll tell you that. And you're about to get rewarded financially. I heard a huge surge, a huge surge. So um, if you do YouTube channels, it could be a, a huge surge in uh, maybe searches, YouTube search for your channel or um, watch time hours or um, subscribers um, or if it's only fans. Um, but I really, truly don't think I'm pulling in only fanners in this, to be honest. And I say that because of this. Somebody's done a lot of inner work spiritually. Um, so I don't think I'm pulling in only painters here, to be honest. I truly don't. I don't think you're you're only painter. Um, if this I don't think this resonates with only painters. Because you're doing inner work, meaning I don't think you're doing it by taking your clothes off. I don't think you're doing it by sex tapes. I don't think you're doing it in the sexual realm. I think you are doing it other ways. I think you are showing life skills out to people or you might be tarot you might be a tarot card reader you might be um sh doing cooking videos you might be doing arts and crafts videos you might be doing travel videos you might be doing how-to videos instructional videos you might be doing um cookbook blogs uh or vlogs or um travel blogs or um something informative and helpful to the universe um that's not going to give somebody a sexual addiction. I mean, seriously. So I don't think, in all seriousness, I don't think we're talking about YouTubers. I mean, not YouTubers. Um, only fanners here. I think we're talking about like YouTubers or um, a, a, a huge search. So it's a huge search of something. So I'm thinking YouTube searches or watch time hours or um, view time, but non non only fanner way. I'm serious because you're doing the inner work. So. It's something other than addiction-esque type things is what I'm trying to say. Triumphant success. Now, I'm not downing. I just want to say I'm not downing the only fanners. I'm not. Just want to make that straight and for real, for real. I'm not downing only fanners. I'm just saying I don't think this reading is for the only fanners. I don't. I don't. I'm just being for real, for real. I'm not downing the only fanners. I don't judge. I'm just being for a frail and i don't think this is for only banners traffic success you're going to have lots and lots of success in this and others to help support good networking connections are coming copa hessens okay this is beautiful. So you take it out resonates. I heard you're going to have lots of success in this. Lots and lots and lots. Um, basically, um, good networking is coming for you. Um, this is looking freaking fantastic. You just can't get no freaking better than this. And I'm serious. You, you just can't. I heard uh, awesome networking opportunities, uh, promoting possibly, um, and other... Um, other things to help promote whatever you're doing that is going to create a huge surge, positive surge. Um, so I'm thinking promoting, I'm thinking, uh, net, well, I heard networking, networking, and um, uh, and you're going to have lots of success in it. Um, oh, and copahessence, and copahessence. So there will be copahessence there. So I'm thinking, um, you know, you're going to get with positive people in your life in a business sense the other people business minded and oriented that's going to help support you but but in the other light you are going to help support them so it's going to be equal and copahescent you you're going to be around like-minded individuals is what i'm trying to say or you're about to get around like-minded individuals or or start connecting with like-minded business minded individuals that want the same for their 
company or business or site or whatever. Um, and y'all were going to help each other is what I'm thinking. That's exactly what I'm freaking thinking. And that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Um, I heard, I heard copahessence. Now copahessence is give and take aspect, give and take aspect. So, you know, like I promote you on my, uh, this is just an example. I promote you on my channel. You promote me on, um, your channel and it is equal. It is fair. And, um, you know, you did what you said you were going to do. And I, I did what I said I was going to do. And, you know, it is a positive business collaboration. Um, and that's beautiful. That's that's freaking beautiful. That is beautiful. Let me see if I hear anything. This is looking fan. This is looking fantastic. And I am so I'm so serious. I'm so freaking serious. Um, but somebody is so threatened by you that they're uh, performing black magic on you um, because they know they know that you have it inside yourself. They know you do, and they're trying to prevent it. Well, let me tell you, baby they are about to not prevent it because you're about to blow the hell up um, in a very positive way. And I'm serious for whoever the hell this is for. And I'm serious. This is wonderful. Freaking wonderful. Freaking a wonderful. Baby, just saying. This is wonderful. I feel like I need to get a couple of these and then I'll close it. This is freaking a fantastic. Spirit messages you have reflected. So basically, don't fear. Don't fear. Um, don't fear of the haters. Don't fear of the haters. For real, for real. Um, I think for some of you, you probably um, did. Uh, probably in the past. Because I heard they got you. They did. They were successful for a little while in the past. Um, but they had an unfair advantage of some type, too. So, um, but now the unfair advantage has been taken away. So now it's like gloves off, baby, because now it's equal playing field, which is the way it should always be. Equality, liberties, and freedom. Um, that I believe in that very, very, very much as a libertarian. And this is not a political post by any stretch. But, I mean, I do believe in that as a person, my morals and values and um and self. I believe in that. Integrity, uh, equality, and... um equal opportunity, equal opportunity, absolutely, freaking lutely And I truly believe in that. I don't just say that. Like, I mean it. So, um, but for whoever this resonates with, you, it's just, you're about to get the true equality, true equality. And you're about to get around people that believe in true equality too, that believe in true equality and uh, won't, won't what's best for you. They want what's best for you and best for them, which you should want what's best for everybody in the world. You know, you should never be threatened by anybody's success. And I'm serious about that because you never know in five or 10 years how that person is going to be doing, you know, and it's like shooting some yourself in the damn foot, treating somebody like shit. And then five years down the road, they're driving around in a freaking black Ferrari and have, um, you know, and have five mil in the bank because they've been very successful. I mean, but I'm not saying that's why you should treat people with, you know, you should treat all people with dignity and respect. I'm just saying you go around treating people like trash, you never know down the line is what I'm trying to say, if that makes sense. Spirit messages you have reflected. Okay. Angel and Night. Visions. Angel of Flame. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> Financial ruin spells as well. Several women have been involved in this and in one particular very spiteful masculine energy. Okay, I heard financial ruin spells as well. So not only spells to create fatigue, which is the extreme weakness um, and making you feel like you're either mentally insane or ill, um, but financial ruin and spells as well. So they're trying to ruin you financially and trying to make you either think you're crazy or um, physically get you so ill that you can't um, 
put out your goods or services or business or or physically work if it's an employment situation. However, that uh, that resonates. But and financial ruin spells. So they're trying to ruin you financially too. Um, that's terrible. I heard several women are involved in this. So several fem energies and one very particular spiteful masculine energy. So you have to plug that in your life, how it resonates. Um, so several bitty betties, bitter betties, several bitter betties, and one very particular um, spiteful masculine energy. So the spiteful masculine energy, you have to figure out who that is in your life as long as, as well as the bitter betties. But um, the spiteful masculine energy is probably an X, is my assumption. It's probably an X. It's probably an X. Probably, but I mean, you plug it in your life, how it resonates. Um, Angel of the Night. Some will transition from the nighttime to the daytime and will end up loving it over time. Truly. Okay. Heard some will transition from the nighttime to the daytime and, and will end up loving it over time. So you take it out. Resonates. We have the Angel of Night card. So um, you're going to train if this resonates with you or somebody you're connected to. I heard you're going to transition from the nighttime to the daytime. So for how um, if this resonates with you, I think you currently work in the nighttime right now in some, some whatever employment sector you work in or business realm you work in. You work at night right now, but I heard you're going to transition to the daytime. So to, to perform whatever you're doing here, um, and you're going to end up loving it. And some will do a mixture of both night and daytime. Okay. And I heard some will do a mixture of night and daytime. So, Ooh, that's, um, that's, Hmm. Well, I don't know. I mean, I can't say that because um, I think when I go full time doing this, which I will do de definitely more of my readings, you know, I work nights. Me personally, I work nights, but you have to plug in your life how it fits. I work nights right now and I love working nights, but um, I work in employment sector right now. But, you know, I'm about to go YouTube full time for those of y'all. I know y'all know, just saying. Um, and that's going to be July 1st when I start this full time. But um, anyways, um, but I love working nights. But when I start this full time, I will do most of my readings during the day, like I'm doing it now. But I will do some of mine still at night. So I think that's what that means. Like for the ones that are going to still do um, a mixture of day and night, because I will do a mixture of day and night for me. I know I will, because that's just how I am. I'm a, I'm a night owl. I'm a night owl. But um, it will... It, but I will do, I will be most, mostly day when I transfer, um, transition to this July 1st, I will be mostly days. Um, and it works better for my kids doing that way, but I love the night so much. I know myself and I will be up at nights doing readings for y'all. So that's just an example, but you take it out resonates for some, you could be doing readings for some, you could be doing whatever in the world you're doing. Um, I'm just giving you a personal example of myself. Angel of Visions. Someone has big dreams for the future. Very excited. And they should be. Okay. Heard someone has big dreams for the future. Um, very excited and they should be. So with the Angel Visions card. So you have big you have big aspirations and dreams for the future. And I heard you should. You should. You should be excited for the future. And you should be. So we have the Angel Visions card. So that's beautiful. Um, that's beautiful. And some are getting visions, spiritual gifts now. Whoa. Okay, I heard it. And some of you guys are getting visions now, spiritual gifts. Holy shit. Whoa. Okay, so you check that out. Resonate. So some of you guys um, have big dreams and aspirations. So that's your visions. Big dreams and aspirations for the future. You're very, very excited for it. And that's the freaking lootly. So your vision is a big, beautiful, financially abundant future. Um, not only financially abundant, but, you know, um, living, living right too. um, spiritual strength within yourself and others as well, as well. It's not just all about the G's for whoever this resonates with. You've got, um, you've got spirit on your side too. 
So for some, I do think you might be readers or you might be starting readings. Um, I do for some, but um, you have to plug in your life outfits. And for some of you guys, you've gotten, you, you started getting a uh, freaking um, clairvoyance. You've been getting visions. Now I am clairaudient for those of you who've been watching me, you know, I'm clairaudient. I hear from spirit and I've been hearing since April 2020. Um, and it was scary at first, but it was, it's actually been the, one of the best things that ever happened to me. And I'm serious. Uh, it just took some getting used to the fact that it was happening. But once I got over it and realized and embraced it, it's been beautiful. But, um, but whoever this resonates with, you're getting visions. You're starting to get, I heard you're starting to get visions now. So clairvoyance, um, which is the visions, seeing visions. Now I have gotten visions one time, one time in my life. And that was like, May, I think it was Mother's Day of last year, actually. I didn't enjoy it, but the vision I got was horrible, too. It was horrible. It was horrible. It truly was. So I didn't enjoy the vision I got. I haven't got one since. And um, I mean, if I get one, I get one. I mean, I've got one before, so it's, it wouldn't be as scary. But um, it was the first time I'd ever got one. And the fact that what I got, it was freaking a horrible, you guys, just saying. It was somebody... Just, um, well, I ain't going to tell you what it, it was. It was, it was horrible. I'm just saying. It was. But, you know, um, but there's others on here. There's other readers on here that have a mixture of the two. And like I said, I've had one before, so I can't say I've never not had one because I have. But there's some that, um, I know when, uh, the COVID stuff started happening a lot, it really started coming in last year, about this time last year, actually, or about a month before this, like April or May-ish last year, maybe June time frame last year. That one of my favorite readers, she was getting a lot of visions, a lot of visions during this time last year ish, a lot. Now she's Claire Audience primarily too, but last year this time, if you go back and watch her readings last year this time, it was vision after vision after vision, and her visions came true. I just want to say they did. They came true. They came freaking true. Um, and she's wonderful. I mean, she is just she's wonderful. Um, that's since star 555. Five, five. Anybody hasn't checked her out since star 555. Five, five. She's freaking a phenomenal. Uh, Angel of Flame. Lots of desire, drive, and motivation here. And someone's about to get a huge flame under their ass and take some action soon. Okay. I heard um, lots of desire, drive, and motivation here. And someone's about to get a huge flame under their ass soon and take action. Some towards, towards a person. Some towards growing their dreams. And some towards information to another individual. They know they need it. Okay, so you take it out, resonate. So some of you guys, it's desire, drive, and motivation and fire under your ass, basically. Uh, some towards business goals. So your dreams, your aspirations, your business goals. Some towards information to another person because I heard they really need it. And some towards um, a, another person. Oh, another person, yeah. And information because they really need it. So you take it out, resonates. So flame, which is the fire under the, your ass. The flame under your ass. Pew just saying all right let me see if i hear anything else big changes coming soon positive big changes coming soon positive is what i heard this is beautiful. This is 34 minutes, 16 seconds of the best shit ever. Just for overall. I'm so freaking serious. Yeah. All right, you guys. I love you guys. Uh, I hope this helped for overall, for real. And I hope this is you. I hope this is freaking you or somebody you're connected to. I'm so serious. This is, you just can't get no freaking better than this. And I'm serious because you're not only about to grow financially, hugely, huge surge, I heard. But you're about to get around positive, like-minded people that 
think the same way you do. So they think the same way you do, and you're about to connect with them in a very positive way. And they like, they value equality and copahessence and promoting and, and, and like-minded business sense like you. This is beautiful. This is fucking beautiful. And I'm so serious. Yeah. Let me know. Let me know. It's beautiful. All right, you guys, we're done. Personal readings currently closed. However, donations super duper greatly appreciated. Type your sister row five. The link's in the description box below. If you like to donate, all donations are super greatly appreciated. Single mom, two kids, just saying. So it really, really helps. Um, saying that, I only have PayPal. I've gotten many inquiries asking about Cash App. I do not have Cash App. I've never had Cash App. I will never get Cash App. And the reason I will never get Cash App is because Cash App has a very, very high prevalence for fraudulent activities um, through Cash App. So that's why I would never will. So um, just to let you guys know, because I've gotten several inquiries saying that you guys want to donate to me, but um, you want to do it through Cash App. Well, I will never get Cash App for those reasons. So I would love all donations. I, I truly would. But I, I use PayPal for a reason. So, um, if you'd like to donate, you have to do it through PayPal. So just saying, um, it's high priestess 205 and links in the description box below. Um, I do appreciate all donations. I don't want you to think I'm ungrateful because I'm not. And I truly appreciate all donations. I just have to protect myself. Um, and I hope you understand that. So just let you know. All right, you guys, I love you guys so much. Please, please share, share the videos. I appreciate all the likes, subscribes, and shares and sharing word of mouth. Um, the channel has just been freaking blowing up in a wonderful, positive way. So wonderfully. You just, you guys are the bomb.com. And I know it's because of you guys, because you guys, I mean, I couldn't do this without you and I'm serious. So, um, I know it is, and I love you guys so much. And I just want to let everybody know that. So, um, if you could keep sharing, 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 I'd really appreciate it. Um, and when you guys start your, um, businesses, cause a lot of people are about to start businesses, about to start businesses and new ventures. And I will promote, I just want to tell you, I will promote your stuff on my, on my, um, oh, Lord, look at me. I'm being a hot mess express over here. Um, on my, uh, description tab, I would promote it down there for you guys. Um, I know Spiritual Sag does that for a lot of her subscribers. Um, I love Spiritual Sag. I watch her a lot. Since Star 555, Spiritual Sag, love them. Um, uh, if anybody hasn't checked them out, they're, they're, they're wonderful too. But anyways, Spiritual Sag does that. She um, promotes on her uh, description link. And I will start doing that as well. Um, but you got to let me know. You got to let me know. So just saying. All right, you guys. I love you guys so freaking much. I do. I do. Love you. Namaste.